is my Sebastianelle. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Michelle here and today we are going to get into the favorites for the month of June. So guys, you know, I don't do favorites all the time. Not until I really feel like I have something special to share with you. So today, I have picked out just a few things that I have been using for this past month, things that I have really, really been enjoying this past month, and I can't wait to share them with you. So if you are interested in what my favorites are for the month of June, then all you need to do is stay tuned. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. All right, so without further ado, let's get into our favorites for the month of June. All right, so this is a disclaimer. Some of you guys might want to click off right now. If you do, I understand. But, um, you know, I had a real craving to chew gum. So, Part of this, <laughs> part of this, um, it's gonna be with gum in my mouth. I know, it's so tacky! I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But, uh, you know, this is what I feel like doing today. You know, what can I say? I feel like chewing some gum. Oh gosh, do I need to spit my gum out? Ooh. Mm. Oh, okay, so now I can speak and I don't have to have the interference of the gum. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is these right here. Oh my goodness. These are lip liners by Lisa Eldridge. And if you don't know, Lisa Eldridge is a makeup artist over in Europe, and she created her own makeup line, her own makeup brand. And every summer, she does a launch. So. Uh, full disclosure, this Friday she will be doing another launch, so something special. So if I were you, go, 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 go run over there to alisaeldridge.com and check out what she's going to be presenting for this summer. Well, anyway, uh, I have three and I just want to show you the sizes, all right? So as you can see, this one, this lip liner in Decade has been my absolute favorite for this month. I use it all the time. I particularly like these liners because they are creamy. You know, liners for the lips are very subjective to you and the formula that's created. And this one, just let me show you. And here is the color right here. Okay, so it's like a nice, kind of rich, kind of neutral for me kind of tone. And yes, I will be picking up more of these. These liners are so beautiful. So that's my first favorite. The next favorite for this month is this right here. These are the Gucci Liquid Lipsticks and I have two of them. Now, they have a few shades and I think if you just go in there and you pick out your perfect shade or the shade that you want, I don't really think you can go wrong with these. now. The thing that I like about this, because we are in a mask type of, you go somewhere, you wanna slip on a mask, and because this is a very light formula that dries down very nicely, I find that this is a nice natural lip to wear underneath the mask. Because as, as a person who enjoys wearing makeup, I like to have something on my lips. So either a balm, or some type of formula on my lips. And this formula has really been really nice. So even if I take it off, not very much transfer on the mask and it still looks nice. All right, so go check these out, Gucci Liquid Lipsticks. All right. If you have been watching the channel, I wanna say thank you, but if you've been watching the channel, then you also know that I recently did a review on this right here. This is the Chanel Complexion Touch. I use this as a concealer and you can also use this all over the face. Uh, what I really like about it is that the formula is nice. It wears nicely on the skin. It doesn't give you a cakey look. It doesn't give you a look that you are doing too much. 
it does come with a brush and if you live in a warm climate or any climate for that a reason I think this is just a really nice light formula it's never doing too much if you want something that looks natural that's easy to blend uh, yeah Chanel darling yes okay so with the opposite of the Chanel Huda this concealer is so bomb because it is just like a multi-purpose concealer like today I use this exclusively just to kind of carve out my brow uh, it is so much like a corrector so let me just show you what I mean when I say that so let's just say I did pick up the, the shade in butterscotch and I'm gonna give it to you right here like this so it's such a for me it's a it comes in 29 shades this is such a skin tone shade but it also has a redness to it almost like an orange if you will um, depending on your color and I can totally use this um, as my corrector as well as my concealer so I really do like this I as I said in the video I will be picking up more when Sephora has to say. you if you're looking for a new concealer in the market this one is really 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 good and it's highly recommended so yes this is a favorite for this month and the next month and the next month and you get what I'm saying <laughs> keeping with the theme of being natural who would I be if I wasn't talking about Mario oh my goodness so this is his balm his balm if you haven't seen the video i did do a video on this as well but this is absolutely magic so if you are a type of person who does not let me give you a swatch here if you don't like to be doing too much you just want something nice to warm up your skin this balm is really the way to go it is so 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 good guys um enough set something light something I'm wearing it today but can you tell you probably can't because it's so light but it does what it's supposed to do which is to warm up the skin and it just did a really really nice job warming up my skin so if you are in the market of looking for something like this then again this is highly recommended by Mario next I want to get into an oldie but a goodie because I'm also wearing this today and this is the Natasha Denona bronze palette Oh my goodness, let me just show you really quickly. Oh, so if you are in the market for something that's super natural, super summer, giving glitter, giving glam, oh, you got it right here in this palette. So yeah, if you all have it, pull it out for a summertime. And if you don't have it, you may want to consider purchasing this one right here. This is such a beauty for any time of the year, but in particular, I really enjoy it for the summertime. All right, so that is it for makeup. Let me just talk about a fragrance lotion. Oh my goodness, this is the Chanel Paris, Paris or Paris Paris. Oh my goodness, guys. So the top opens up like this. Uh, all I can say is go cop one they came out with like this is the newest one but they have like a a whole collection of different fragrances the next one that I will be picking up for sure is the Riviera like when I went into store to get the um, complexion touch I did go in there and I started to use some of the lotions and the creams oh my goodness this is so light okay um, this is not a heavy fragrance this is a very light fragrance but it's just so nice to just put on your arms oh my goodness uh, when you get out the shower the fragrance is just so calming and it's just so lovely and so luxe so I would highly recommend going to try out uh, the lotions of this line from Chanel they are so delicious all right and last but not least i gotta talk about my show that i have honestly been binging and that is stranger things yes okay so right now they have season four part one and part two just watched part two and i was so intrigued because it's been a while since i watched it so i had to go back to season one and i'm right now up to season three 
again so let me tell you something that show is so good i am not going to give away any spoilers although i did cry season four i know i'm such a hmm, a baby but it was so good guys so go check it out all right so guys i just came on here to give you some content <laughs> and show share with you some of the things that i have been enjoying for this month um get down in the comment section and let me know what you have been enjoying for this past month what have you been using what's good and uh we can have a conversation about it you know what i'm saying so guys i want you to stay safe and i'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching